the big one. This is Scotty McClue's internet phone in live just for you, Dinky Doo. We're on Twitch and we're on YouTube and we're on Facebook. How excellent is that? Welcome, 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 I say. Lots to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. So let's see the color of your phones. <laughs> Fantastic. Do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. We have a lot to get through and so little time to do it in. You're live on Scottish phone in. Who's that? Thank you, do, Scotty. How are we? Oh, Karim, thank you, do. I didn't even get a chance to get the subjects out, but welcome, welcome. What was the subject? Sorry, Scotty. Well, I'm saying I didn't even get a chance to get the subjects out. One of them, which will appeal to you, was which animals make the best pets? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> you think definitely dogs? You're a dog man. And I'll probably get shot down by some of the, the callers. Uh, if you own a cat, I call you a, a part-time owner because if you're letting the cat outside, you're not being responsible for them. Well, as you've got a dog, it's twenty-four hours a day. So, so the cat is really the cat is really just sort of getting bed and board when it suits the cat. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> Come and feed me. Give me shelter. Right, I'm away. See you later. It's like a hotel. Absolutely, a cat and hotel for cats. Absolutely. We love it. Now, Kareem, how are we tonight? Friday night, not, the, the second of the big ones. Yes, it's, I'm looking forward to tonight. I'm looking forward to all day, actually. It's been a very a very long week. Do you know, it's funny that you should say that, Kareem, but I get a lot of communications from people and they say, I'm really looking forward to the show. And, yes. uh, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's very heartening, shall I say, after all the sort of challenges that we've put up with in mainstream yes. media to, uh, you know, have people looking forward to the show. Absolutely. Yep. No, I'll be putting you on uh, my YouTube on the TV again, like I did the other night once I finished my call. Ah, fantastic. We love it. Absolutely love it. There we go. Tremendous stuff. And yes, go on. The, tic the TikTokers have just joined us, by the way, just so that you know. I've just sent a half-witted idiot called Frank Doon the Swanee. All right. All right. <laughs> and here's another one going called Misled Soup Doon the Swanee as well. Wonderful. So, right, Kareem, down to business. Yes. I was going to ask a question. Um and try to back it up a little bit. Are we a nation of absolute complete mourners? Ah, right, because yes. I'm sure, uh, and you'll see this being on social media, that whatever any story that comes out, there are just people moaning and moaning and moaning. And something that I've seen a lot of people moaning about, and maybe you'll be able to correct me or, or change my opinion, about this new the the passports the app now that you can prove that you've had your two jags yes uh for me i think that's a good thing if uh, you know if you're going to go to a concert or a football match it's over ten thousand. you have this app you show you've had the jag it's all good but a lot of people say well that goes against my human rights that i'm now being forced to get a jag i'm now being forced to put details down on this app and I just think, well, if you think about it, your mobile phone does that already for you. Wherever you go, it's tracking. Of course it <laughs> is. Of course it is, Green. Well, forgive me, but I'm not going to go down anything to do with the pandemic because we get that yeah. in mainstream media. And I'm not going to yeah. go down the road of, you know, uh, vaccinations and all that stuff because that leads to great problems on social media. And it leads to a lot of fighting because it's very, very divisive. So if you'll forgive me, I'm actually going to steer clear of that one. But what I will say about the morning, there is a lot of it. And I think people need to, I can understand it. I can explain it, but I can't excuse it. You know, and, and there's, there's a terrific amount of people moaning and whinging. Now, they've had a lot to moan and whinge about. People have been very short of money. Ordinary folk have really struggled while billionaires make a fortune out of, uh, you know, PPE and all that sort of stuff. So there's all that going on. But we need to get out of being a moaning culture. And we need to have positivity. And that's one of the reasons, as you know, I started the live streams. 
when it was the, the first lockdown. Yes, the first lockdown, God and people were fed up. Um, I'm getting some great stuff here. Human rights are out the window. There we are, fantastic stuff. And uh, what have we got? <laughs> Oh, yes, there we are. Just a lot of nonsense coming up on TikTok at the moment. But the TikTokers have just joined us. Yep. So, yes, oh, so we need to sort <laughs> out the mourners, uh, Karim, and we need a positive mental attitude. Otherwise, people will yep. genuinely start to take very unwell uh, cerebrally. now Scotty and everyone's always said this that's been underfunded is mental health yes but if, if we as a nation complain if the media are continuously complaining what kind as you're saying it's going to affect people's mental health I a couple of weeks ago I stopped for a good number of days um, looking at social media in terms of the news because I was just getting so fed up yes. seeing such negativity I thought I can't be bothered with this yeah, you can get you can get bogged down on it. I mean, my discussions twenty five years ago were looking at the whole thing. We were making people think they were very stimulating. We were looking at the whole thing, but I have to say, my own discussions on social media have changed now, and I like to point out the facts of what is genuinely wrong and how we can put it right. You know. I mean, there's no doubt Brexit was a massive, massive error of judgment, a fight within a political party. And the people yeah. have suffered, will suffer, and will be suffering for years. Correct. But I do think there's a lot, I said this the other night, Scott, there's a lot of people that don't bother to research into things because in social media today with the, the National Assurance uh, increasing, and I'll be honest, I think I'm about... £30 a month, that's going to go up now from April. Yes, so that's so, you another £360 a year. Yeah, you know, and but if I was to earn over 50000 it's practically near to nothing. So mm -hmm. everybody under 50000 uh, is paying a hell of a lot more, and people that are earning over 50000 uh, are paying a lot more. So it's, it's actually not fair. Kareem, have you ever had a look round at old Glasgow properties and seen what looks like a window uh, all bricked up? Yes. Now, uh, you'll probably know this, but this was a window tax which came in, I think it was in the 1830s. And right. uh, that's where we get the phrase daylight robbery. Ah, right. You okay. know, because people were robbed of daylight so that they could they didn't have to pay the tax it's like it's like the bedroom tax that yes is, is just now, yeah, like so this this tax. tax i would say is daylight robbery yeah it's the same thing it's been put together as a as a hash of things just a hash bag of nonsense put together without really thinking it through uh, to raise money very quickly for the mess that they've made with brexit They'll say it's the pandemic, but it is Brexit. You know, Brexit, yep. they've got to pay. They've got to pay that two hundred and fifty billion bill for Brexit. You know, but they've got that. And that's that will be hitting in from April onwards, and then I think it's at the end of this month, Scott. Is it working tax credit? People will be losing twenty pounds a week now. If yes. On that yes, tax. they're going to lose all that, and the furlough will stop. You know, so it's really taking the money off ordinary people and weaponizing it against them. Yeah. But Scott, I would ask you this question then. Why is there still people, despite the fact all this is happening and they're going to be out of pocket, still believe that they're better within the union as opposed to an independent country? Well, I think they can't get their head around it. You see, people are very, very old fashioned and very stuck in their thinking uh -huh. and there's um, anxiety that uh -huh. if you go independent then you're in some way being anti-royal and anti-loyal not loyal to the union flag and not loyal to the queen now this is yeah. very very flawed thinking yeah. what they mean is yeah. you're not being loyal to the monarch the original one being King William from Holland 
you see so it's old-fashioned thinking and this is why i was so strong in making it clear to nationalists that if you really want to be successful you must make sure you've adopted her majesty the queen 100 percent as your head of state you know, and, and if they don't do that, then they're going to blow this one. Because the nationalist movement has gone up and down like a graph. Now, uh, you know, it was very big when Winnie Ewing was uh, about in one horse seat in Hamilton. Terrific surge in nationalism. Uh, you know, when the Stone of Destiny was taken from Westminster Abbey, a bit botched and a bit mad and a bit wild. But, uh, you know, again, a surge in nationalism. Then there was a huge drop in nationalism because there was suspicion that it might return to Rome. So can, can you see where people are coming from with it? And that the monarchy could be... Now, they've not lost that. You mentioned the monarchy to some nationalists. They go up in a blue light and they start telling whoppers, you know? saying that these people cost us money and that they're taking off the state and just a lot of rubbish. And that's the rock that the nationals will perish on. And I don't think they're going to be helped by the Greens in that area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there well, we go. If there, was, if there was ever a vote, I, I'd be, I'm very confident there's a lot of people that support the monarchy in Scotland and will continue to do so. So I think if there was ever going to be, not that I think there would be, but if there was, they would lose miserably because they would vote to continue to have the monarch. I, I could not see that disappearing. You see, <laughs> what, what you're looking at, let's be realistic here, Karim. You're talking around 50% of the vote. Yeah. You see, you could lose 50% of the vote by being an anti-monarchist. So I think the nationalists have to be nice and clear about that, not fudge it, not have any kind of, uh, you know, mist or fog or anything round about that area, but make it quite clear, you know, get everybody watching the opening of Parliament in 1999 and just say, where are we at in that last 22 years? You know, so I think they've got to be realistic. You can't be idealistic all the time because that yeah. becomes impractical. And I've yeah. always looked at independence from a point of view of the economy. Mm -hmm. You know? Totally agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Scotty, listen, thank you very much for, for taking my call. And I'm going to put you on the, my big screen now to watch the rest of your show. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Take a wee shot and send us it round. We love it. Excellent. Thank you, too. Have a good night. I'll speak to you tomorrow night. Okay. Bless you, Karim. Look forward to it already. Thank See you, you later. Night, night, night. There we are. That's our Karim. What a guy. Fantastic stuff. And he manages to get in right away. Scotland need to get out, says Copman. So there we are. Scotland is like Northern Ireland. It will never change. Funny how nationalism isn't racist up north. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, Scotty. Hey, Glenn from the Midlands, but like Sheffield. Sheffield, Glenn. Why, why do you think we're some? Why do you think we are? We're a society that mourns a lot, Sky. Well, I don't. Well, I think we've had quite a lot to mourn about. But when you look at other societies, you compare us mourning about uh, getting robbed blind by Westminster uh, with yeah. having to get out of Afghanistan last week. Yeah. You know, different kettle of fish, isn't it? I mean, you can't compare third world countries to our countries, can you? No. No, you, you know, can't. When, when we're thinking, oh, we're having it really bad and we're thinking, oh, things can't get any worse. Well, they can get worse, Scotty, before they get better. Can't yeah, they? they can. But you see, we don't want this country to descend into a third world country. And if you have people just robbing the country blind while they're in power, then that's not an answer we need. Governments with a curatorial role. Could we easily become a third world country then, Scotty? Uh, it's unlikely because, I mean, we have very powerful deterrents including a nuclear deterrent 
to ensure that our security is intact. Uh, we uh, believe in a lot of freedoms. They've been very challenged during the pandemic, you know, because although we've had to take a lot of precautions with the pandemic, that's not been lost on the politicians who have used it to make hay. To advantage, to yeah, yeah. yeah. So we need to we need to be very wary of all that happening and we need to be very clear. When did you last hear the mainstream media say uh, we're going to have to get a tax to pay for Brexit? So they've been told to just steer clear of that and just say pandemic. Yeah, there's there's a lot of wool pulling going on, but there always has been. You know, but I think once you, you, you have a look, you see, I like the kind of politician that when you say career politician, they're in it for their constituents. They are representing their constituents. You know, remember old Dennis Skinner with all his stuff? Vaguely, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, quite a guy. You know, there's been all these Tam DL people that when they stand up to speak in the House of Commons, everybody else keeps quiet and listens. You know, when you put them into categories of different parties, though, they're all thinking off the same room sheets in a way, aren't they? Well, they are a bit at the moment. I mean, can you tell me the difference between left and right at the moment? I can't. Not really, no. Do you know? Uh, and then, then you've got this pandemonium, this pantomime going on, aren't you, kind of thing? Kulelio's uh, calling him the beast of balls over. Wonderful. Absolutely. Labour's fighting conservative excess and all that. And it's like, yeah. But you need, you see, the way to get proper, strong government, and we don't actually have it. Everybody's voted them in. I was surprised at all your old miners and steel workers in Sheffield voting Tory because they yeah, thought no they thought it would uh, get us our country back, which hadn't been anywhere anyway. I mean, can you imagine the miners of Barnsley, the miners of Sheffield, the steel workers voting Conservative? You wouldn't have dreamed of it, would you? You know. I mean, you couldn't make it up, could you, Glenn? The, the older generation who aren't here with us now, they're turning the graves, aren't they? Copman, you're a hundred percent right. I'm just talking I mean, to Copman. I think. It, I think what it comes down to. We, we, we like to live on, in past a bit, but only as just a try uh, Yep. That, you know, we, we've got to we've got to start sorting out. The way to strong government is to have a strong opposition on their tail all the time, on their know, case. Yeah. So it's definitely on their yeah. You know, and that's what we've not got at the moment. You need somebody on their case all the time. It's, it's your government together then at the moment oh yeah they're pretty good actually if you hear the first minister speaking and then yeah. you hear people trying to attack her they they don't get very far she's very strong-minded oh strong and she's very good on her feet and she knows her stuff so whatever anyone thinks of her personally or politically personally should never ever come into it you know, it's either political or, uh, you know, it's actually not the incumbent, it's the office. So, so Boris could learn a few things about that. Could he... Well, I think that's it. You know, I mean, I think I, I have a theory and I remember being on top radio in Liverpool one morning and they said, should we rebuild Hadrian's Wall? And I yeah. said, yes, we should, but we build it just north of Watford. Mm -hmm. And the Yorkshire people, and the Lancashire people and the Midlands people, yep, yeah, are all in with Scotland. Very definitely, yeah. We should all be units in some way. That's what I think we need to look at. Yeah. Glenn, I'm going to move on, my boy. You have a great yeah, night. Scotty. Hey, and yeah, dink, enjoy, dinky enjoy doo. Enjoy last few days of this gorgeous weather while we've got it, Scotty. Oh, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Thanks, mate. We've got to have a bit of rain, aren't we? All right. We need a bit for garden. You look after yourself, Glenn. Top man. Thank you, do, Scott. Thank you, do. I'll see you, Lala. Right, there we are. To the telephones as quickly as possible. TikTokers, none of them represent the working man. That's a problem. Danny, you're right. There we are. All corrupt, says somebody else. I'm from Nottingham. People still mention the miner's been broken. 
from the Nottingham Breakaway Union. Yes, indeed. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. David, how are you? David, how lovely to hear you. That was a great wee ad hoc chat the other night. Uh, that's great, right? So, see, last night, so I phoned you off live. Is that correct? No. You phoned me off here. I would just that's pack it up. Phoned your house number, yes. Nobody, here. nobody heard you, just me. That's amazing, right? I'm the first person to phone you off here, and that's exciting. <laughs> it was fantastic. It was just, I was just packing up and phone rang. I thought, who on earth is this at this time? And it was your good <laughs> self, your sin. It was your sin. Dude, I, I, I need to phone you sometimes, anywhere it's got you. I need to send you GoFundMe page. What can I do to talk me through this? The GoFundMe page. Are you on the YouTube? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Yes. You're on YouTube. If you see the top right, there's a little right, link. I'm, right, I'm, I'm with John. John's intelligent. I'm not that. No rubbish. John's You're very intelligent. John would be the first to admit that. <laughs> Highly I'm intelligent. Right. I'm going to send you some. Stuff. Well, that's so oh. kind of you, but don't be sending too much. That's Scotty. So, see the GoFundMe thing. I got all these bits and pieces. Is that correct? Right. I'm interested in all the wee bits and pieces, like wires or something. <laughs> what <laughs> is it? What I don't know. It's there. There's there's buy me a pie, and I think right. that takes you to the PayPal. Right. So I can send you a pie, is that correct? It says, well, you can send me, you can send me a pound for a pie. A pound for a pie? <laughs> <laughs> That's strange, but I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Really you're trying to tell me. As I said, Scotty, I'm a bit backward, but John's... You're nothing backward. You don't have a backward bone in your body. Very clever man. John will tell you that. And so I'm going to have a into your background. Right, don't you see there's nothing on the screen, Scotty? There's not the screen. So if he looks at the top of uh, the uh, YouTube, right, and there's a picture of me with my headphones on and the microphone. Right, and now it's come up restream, Scotty. Oh, it's come up restream, yeah, but I don't think you're, you need to go on to the actual YouTube site then, Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. Right. Yes, and then uh -huh. you'll see me sitting up the top there, looking quite the part. <laughs> I can see your lovely face. You'll yes. see me looking it in a bit. Now, if you oh, go yeah. to the the bottom I right, there's link. Little, there's oh, links. The Hi, the bonnet's yeah. on. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. And if you go to the bottom right on the YouTube channel, you'll see some uh -huh. wee links. I'm trying to get just just John. John's trying to be on this. No, no. I'm still here, yes. That's, that's okay. <laughs> so, do you know what? I love you, man. I'll let you go. I love you too. And tell John we're asking for him and dinky do. I will do, Scotty. Dinky do. Dinky do, Davey. Thank you very much. <laughs> he is one character. He really is absolutely amazing. Guys, if you've just joined me, a very, very good evening to you. We are live on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and we're also streaming on TikTok as we speak. Kalelio says, I'm from Nottingham, and people still mention the miners been broken away from the breakaway union. So there we go. You, uh, oh, amazing. I remember you from Century 105. He's not listening, says Kalelo. Oh, he's listening, Kalelo. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure. How do you? Lachmer, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. I thought we'd bring the TikTokers in on the phone in. So don't think I'm not watching, reading, and listening just because I'm talking live on the phone in. Okay, fantastic. A ham sandwich walks into a bar and asks for the beer. The barman says we don't serve food in here. I remember going into a pub in Belfast. I said, excuse me, do you sell shorts? And she said, we serve all the big companies around here. Ah. So there we are. Hi, Scotty, my friend. Up the Royal Artillery. Absolutely, Nahum. 
Yes, indeed. Good for you. You're a good British Army man. There we are. That's what we like. Lachmer has sent me lots of likes. I've got 755 likes on TikTok. I live in England, Scotty. My name's Chris, but I get called Scotty by the English family. Quite right, Chris. Dinky you do. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's me, Glenn again. Glenn, what are you doing, lad? You're I using up to... using up your I've calls. I've used my second credit. Yes, <laughs> I, I just want to wish the young tennis player uh, all the best for tomorrow. Oh, you are kind. Yes, she's amazing. Emma Raducanu. Well, yes. If I pronounce the correct, uh, 18 year old. How amazing uh, is she, you know? First Grand Slam final, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I saw uh, Martina uh, Nat Navatarola. Nat yeah. I can't pronounce it. Anyway. I'll have one of them. Yeah, I'll have one of them. And uh, she, she was saying that she was 26 before she was at that stage. I mean, look at the Williams sisters prior to that, I think. You're never going to beat the Williams sisters, Scotty, are you? Well, you don't know. You do, you just yeah. don't know. I mean, they were amazing. And Andy Murray, of course. Yeah, credit to him where it's due, isn't it? Yeah, yeah our own Andy do, Murray. Do you, do you think we've seen the best of him now, I'm afraid? Uh... With the what? Sorry, Glenn. Do you think we've seen the end of Andy's? Oh no 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 no! He'll be he'll be around for a good long time, I think. Absolutely, but I mean, he's already been around for a good long time. He's done well, yeah. Outstanding. It's, it's, I, I think it's one of them Scotty. He's got he bottles up that much passion. I mean, you know, when he's up, when he's back to the wall. It's the passion. Kalelo has just told us Boris won at the Wimbledon at seventeen. Crazy. There we are now. Kalelo's pretty it's, spot on. Will win it, to be honest, uh, well, we won't we won't go uh, predicting because that's not good luck. So we'll just she, we'll, she ain't conceded a set so far, Scotty, in, in this year's US Open. Anyway, so you're a great man for your sport. We'll see what it brings, la. It's looking good, anyway. It's looking what, good, what you, and so are you. Did, and dinky do. When Andy Murray were doing the uh, dinky do bit, I, I thought it was quite good. I thought it was quite good. Yeah. Uh, and then, How good was that? Oh, uh, fantastic. I am so proud of that video. That was just, you that was know, just amazing, yeah. yeah, a huge yeah. fan. And the whole world's media is watching as well. That's Andy and Judy's listening to Scotty Ford in tonight on YouTube. Fantastic. Brilliant stuff, guys. Hey, You've Dink. Got a great culture of, of Scottish sportsmen there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Quite outstanding. That's Sir Alex. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. Eric Liddell. Jockey Wilson, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah. All that. Your snooker boys. Alex Higgins. Yeah. And the other one. Remember when he was very young? I do, yeah. You know the one I mean? Johnny Higgins. They're just outstanding. It, it, it comes to British sportsmanship, though, when you come to think of it. We have this rivalry between England and Scotland. Yeah. But why does it always seem to get competitive when England play against Scotland in football? And well, it's the old battle. It goes back to if 800 put, years. If we put both our sports cultures together, we'd have a great British team. Well, I think, I mean, I think we do a lot of that. I mean, Eric Liddle with his chariots of fire, Harold Abrams, yeah. you know. We'd, we'd have a brilliant team. If we put ourselves up against the South American or uh, Asian team, we could conquer the world, I think. Oh, you're some man. Oh, you're bringing a tear to my eyes. Stop now. Stephen Henry. That's it, Colilio yeah, said. Yeah. Stephen Henry, fantastic player. Probably one of the best uh, snooker players to ever play snooker in the last 20 years, to be honest. Outstanding. Outstanding. I'm going to have to dash. A dinky do. Scotty, I'm dinky do. And have a good evening. And, uh, and you too, Lala. Well done, sir. Fantastic. fantastic. Sarana, there we are. That's our Glenn. He's used up his second call, though. You get as much as two calls a night, guys. Now, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. We're live with the Scotty McClue phone in. We're across the internet. We're across the world. This is huge. We're also live on TikTok. How are we doing, Scotty boy? Galileo, were you thinking I wasn't listening to you? Always listening. 
Inky do I say we just want to include the TikTokers because we can't get a live feed out to you in any other way. So we thought we'd just include you. And I think that's a very good way to go down. Now, this is the second of our big Friday night phone-ins. So do come on and tell us what you're thinking. One of our subjects for tonight, we're live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. All right. And the telephone number 0141628-9795. You should be able to see it in front of you there. All right. Very, very important. Which animals do you think make the best pets? That's what we are discussing tonight. Let's see your chat here, guys. I'm going on to the super chat. Congrats to our... Oh, here we go. Hang on. Lots and lots of this, guys. Uh, yeah, says John Rogers. I don't believe it. Kareem beat me again. With the first on the phone in, says Professor Numpty Heed. Hi, Scotty, says the wonderful Susan Shaw. Scotty, I want to play a game called Where Am I? I think Where Are You would be better. I'll give you three clues to where I am. You get three points if you get the first clue. Only one point if you get it on the third clue. Very good, indeed. Tax is theft, says Jim. I loved lockdown to spend months with my kids. No, I'm not mad. They grow up too quickly, and I'll cherish this always, says the wonderful Suzanne. Suzanne, thank you for your good night last night. Good evening, says D. Good evening, D. Scotland needs more diversity so that it's less white. When the Scottish people are a minority, that's when Scotland will be diverse. That's the best reason for becoming an independent country. Jim Cook, you've got to remember nobody is pure anything. So diversity is always there. If you can't see it on the surface, it's just beneath the surface. I'll give you an example. A guy was boasting he was 100% English. He was 65% Argentinian. Isn't that interesting when you look at the DNA? Good evening, Scotty Dinky Do. So saying diversity is actually a very false prophet. A false prophet. All right. It's dreamt up by the woke brigade to try and make you think that if we tick the right boxes, it will look like inclusion. If you want proper inclusion, then you go on to Scotty McClue's phone in or Scotty McClue's TikTok at Scotty McClue. You follow me on YouTube. Yes, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue one. You subscribe and tap the bell. You come on all my live streams, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitch, whether it's YouTube, whether it's TikTok. That's true diversity. We don't do pronouns. We don't have to say who we are or what we are. We don't have to say we're LGBGT, of which I think should be LGBGTS, to include the straight people. That's real inclusion. So there you go. So if you want inclusion, if you want diversity, Scotty McClue. You see, diversity, let's look at the term. What does it mean? Diverse, divisive, divvying up, yes, splitting people, dividing, diversity. We don't want that. We want inclusivity where nobody has to explain or justify themselves. Can you see how rich my thinking is? There we go. There's no box ticking. You take people because they're great for the job. If you bring in the world, you bring in the world's problems. Jim Cook, not necessarily. Good call, Kareem. Thanks for calling in. Uh, Not to hate. No, Kareem. If I don't make it 10 o'clock sharp, then we need you to save the day. And Colin says, not to hate. Uh, Mum is playing on the government agenda, says Vaughn. Yes. Uh, hi, Kareem. Says every day, left and right, exactly the same. You're correct, Vaughn. You can't tell them apart. You couldn't get a fag paper between them. So there we go. Uh, congrats to your David and John pledging to support the phone in. Professor Numpty, he'd bless them both, I say. And they were watching on the restream, so we had to get them on to the YouTube, you see. Uh, so if you're watching on the YouTube, guys, and you're feeling flush and you want to send me a quid, it'll say buy me a pie or go fund me. It's up to you. 
It's the About page. Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you, dear Scotty McClure. Thank you very much. Will this comment come out on YouTube live? Try it, Scott. There we are. I'll put it up on here for you. There you comment come out on YouTube live. Try it, Scott. How's that? There's your comment up in front of the world. Let me know if that comes out on YouTube. Can you see it? There we go. Now, who else have I got here? Sorry for waffling on, Scotty Glenn. Not at all. No, no. You're very welcome, dear boy. There we are. Dogs make good pets. They do, Susan. Interesting, says Jim Cook. You're 100% right. You see? So do you see diversity is marketed as a good thing? But in actual fact, it's a backward step. Yes? If you want to really get rid of racism, you don't shout that black lives matter, that white lives matter, that all yellow lives matter. You don't go taking the knee and bowing down to racism. You stand up to racism. Yeah? And think about it. If you stop terms like, this is Mark, Mark's gay. Yeah? You stop all that. This is James. James is white. This is William. William is black. You don't do all that. You just say, this is Mark. This is James. This is William. They've got a handle. That's how you recognize them. Yeah, you can't have racism if there's only one race, the human race, and we're all in it. Fantastic. You're 100% right. There we are. B man, one B for the best. B for the B man. Right. Yo, what's up? Says Zev. Everything's up, nothing's down. There we are. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can, if it makes sense. If you've joined us on TikTok, welcome. Who have we got here? It's Scotty himself. Top man, Scotty. Absolutely, Chris. Uh, I was learning about it in history. Do you have any opinions? Says Kligster. Uh, there we go. Uh, white people never want to speak about racism. Well, in actual fact, we shouldn't ever need to speak about racism because it shouldn't exist. And I've just told you how to stop it. I mean, it'll take a wee while. Scotty, what's in WW2? We're known as the Wolf Packs. Well, I know this because the Wolf Packs killed my uncle. The Wolf Packs were the submarines, uh, I think under Admiral Donitz, Yes, who spoke like that, Admiral Donitz. And uh, they were German submarines, the U-boats, in the Battle of the Atlantic, going up to 1943. And my uncle was on a destroyer called the Harvester. And the Harvester rammed a submarine, put her rudder and steering out of action, had to stop to undergo repairs and became a sitting target. And she got sunk by a submarine. The uh, Corvette um, arrived, yes, the Aconite, a French Corvette, and sank the submarine. And the young sailors in the submarine would be the same as the sailors on HMS Harvester and all other Royal Naval vessels at the time. That was the 11th of March, 1943. There we go, fantastic. Can you show me your six-pack? Oh, it's so big. You'll never actually, you couldn't get it in shot. My six-pack is massive. I say, good evening, Scotty. So the wonderful Neil O'Gormley down in uh, Bournemouth. Am I correct, Neil? All lives matter. Join us one. Stop the divide. Kareem, you're 100% as always. Scotty, can I have something for the bakers? I think you would like a vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. There we are. I agree, Scotty. I've never resonated with the kneeling and one knee thing. It makes more sense to stand up for something. Of course it does, Mega Chelsea. They need to run all these things past Scotty McClure before they do them. That's what I say. That's why we've got the phone in. Treat people as individuals. Good one, Jim. Well, Scotty, do you have any opinions on World War I? I learned about the history today. Yes, I could tell you everything about it, Cillian. Very, very important. What started the First World War? Tell us. How are you doing, Scotty? Hey, up, Scotty. You've caught the sun. Where have you been to Skeggy? Seaborg. 
Yes, Skegness, I love it. There we are, Dinky Doo. Now, who's that there? Now, what have we got here? Bournemouth in Deed. Yes, in Deed, says Neil. How amazing is that? Who have we got here? Thank you for joining us on the old TikTok. Lovely to have you with us, TikTokers. We're in the middle of the phone in. We've got 20 minutes to go. Can you believe it? How amazing tonight. Born mouth indeed, says Neil. Neil, you need to give us a call and have a chat with me. It should be absolutely 100% free because I pay for the number. Ooh. Oh, that is absolutely lush, I say to you. Uh, Scotty, could you do a reading of the news like you did in the 80s? I think that would be a hit on TikTok. Yes, I might do that. I'll pop on my suit and read you the news. Here is the news. Good evening. I haven't lost it, have I? There you are. Still there. Uh, yes, you used to read the news with a straight face and a straight voice. Scotty, I love curry and cream. Well, cream goes with a lot of things, lonely. There we are. A wise man hears one what and understands two. You are 100% correct. Right, can you share this and tell everybody the phone ends on? We've only got about another 18 minutes left of tonight's phone in. If anybody's feeling flush, if you go onto the YouTube channel, subscribe, tap the bell so you receive the notifications, uh, you know, and we'll see what is what. Uh, who have we got? Oh, thank you, Christopher. That's a very nice thing to say. Good evening from the Soup Dragon. Annette, we love the Soup Dragon. How amazing. How lovely to hear from you. Uh, there's Big Danny saying, Scotty, how are you? I've not been on in a while. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that, Big Danny. Lovely to have you back with us live on the TikTok. Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching us on YouTube, you're watching us on Twitch, and you're watching us on Facebook Live. And, of course, we're streaming on TikTok right now to let you join in the fun in. So what about this one? Thoughts on us talking down Robert E. Lee's statue and wiping out history. Kalilio, we need to stop touching statues. Anybody that comes to a college and says they don't like the statue, sack them as a student. Say, I'm sorry, but if you're coming to this college, then you need to respect the founder. All right? So that's the first rule I would make. Nobody can come to a college and then start trying to change the history of this country. We acknowledge our history. The latest one was trying to wipe out Winston Churchill. Now, Winston Churchill had his flaws. Let's not kid ourselves. But you don't go trying to wipe out everything the man did Bad, bad, bad news. This is way better than talk radio. We need to get you more listeners. Jim Cook, yes. We need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Sorry, I'll spray that again. Just wipe that off the screen. Thank you. Uh, we need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. We need to get the word out there. Once that happens, you will see a massive improvement in the figures. Remember, we're only a few days old. This is only the second Friday of our mainstream phone-in. Tomorrow for Saturday. Art the doing. Uh, Lee Fan says, hey, oh, Scotty, art the doing. Absolutely. Nice to see thee, as always, Lee. It's always good to see thee, lad. He, uh, I think I'll come up and go out in Barnsley tonight. Uh, there we are. Check the phone settings. Calls can't get through. I shall check them not to hit right now. It's happening as we speak. McClure's checking his phones. There we go. What have I got here? Right, let me stick up with this. Okay, cookie. Right, there it's there. Try your calls now, Numpty Heat, and we'll see if we can get you on. Okay, La? Very important. There we go. Give it, give it a shot, I say to you. There we are. They're trying to do the same to Enid Blight and erasing some of her books for being a punk racist. No. 
No, I think Enid Blyton is outstanding as an authoress, and generations and generations of young people have thrived on Enid Blyton. It will be the naughty books they'll be talking about, I would think. So there we go. Yes, absolutely. And I know why, but I'm sure, uh, you know, we could see things as for what they were. I mean, you've got to remember, Enid Blyton was writing almost 80 years ago, you know? Uh, she was quite a complex character herself, but, uh, you know, as our books were a great read for a young person. So I think don't be banning anything. Let people make up their own minds. There we are. You know, I mean, what you would need to say to say if something's racist, does this offend you? And people say, no, of course not. I can remember some council saying, don't put up Christmas trees in case it offends our Islamic people. And you say, have you asked our Islamic people? Because I would imagine they couldn't really give two, you see? So we need to be looking at these things sensibly and not divisively. You know, you can only see politicians love them and us because it gives them a wee in. Could you imagine if it was all just us, regardless of race, creed, color, age, nationality, everything? There we go. Ahoy there. Tis me coming through. YouTube all the way from the U.S. The high heat of Los Angeles Valley with a famous neighbor, the Kardashian clan. Anita Page, what a joy to hear from you. Anita is out in uh, California, in L.A., and uh, she is an outstanding lady, and she's been a Scotty McClue follower for many, many years. And I'm a big fan of yours, Anita. Still not getting through. It's going to answer machine. David was the last call. Did you press the right button to cut him off? I don't know, numpty heat. Let's have another go at it and see what's going on here. Yeah, let's have a good blast at this. See what we've got. Right, we seem to be all right. It shouldn't be going to answer phone. What have we got here? Right. Anything happening now, Numpty Head? Are you keeping at it? That's what I say. So voice message is going out there. Well, it shouldn't be doing that. So let's just see what's going on here. And there we are. Yes. Right, that's okay. Okay. Yep, everything should be all right there for the old calls, Numpty Heat. I don't understand what's going on there. Who did we cut off? Ah, you're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Numpty, Scotty. Numpty, what were you playing at? Did you break my phone calls? No, listen, Kim, what happened, Scotty? Uh, I've been dealt that you were, you were getting 461,000 calls. 461,000 calls? And they have shorted it out. Now, hang on, Scotty, you've come back on. What are you playing at? You need to turn that down. I have done. But no. The thing was, it came on itself. We can still hear it. Aye, it's a way new because I pressed the button. Good. Did you press the right I button? Can what I'm doing. At least I can what I'm doing, Scotty. You can what you're doing. Good. Thank now goodness listen, one of us does. Now, listen, Scotty, I'm, I'm, I'm in a disaster of the news, Scotty. What have you done to yourself? Nothing. It's uh, the electricity has went to... Oh, right, Dev. You know, put your money in the meter. No, no, it's not just me. It's the neighbour's day. They've no leggy. Are they on a party line? We've all not paid our bills, I think. I think that's, that's what's happened. happened. I think you're, because of furlough. What? 
It might be to do with furlough. Well, here's this 20 pound a week cut, I'll tell you. If they'd done that last year, I'd be getting out here go fund me. I know, that's, that, that's the worry. I hope you haven't given away all your money to me. No, I kept my fag money at the side, Scotty, and then I seen what I'd left, and I says, right, I'll give me a clue that. You're very kind. Oh, yeah. and the so am I so by, by setting up a phone in at your expense, am I saving you fag smoking? No, Scott, I'm smoking my fags. Well, I'm you need to in. stop it. In I thought you told me you'd been off it for three weeks. <laughs> anyway, listen, I'm gonna be doing the I till the end of October. So All right, good I you're quite right. And uh, it's a Doug's holiday, it's a retirement home. The Doug's having a wee holiday? It's a retirement home, he's 12 year old now, Scotty. Oh, fantastic. And he's still a lovable laddie. Of course he is, he's beautiful. He's still got plenty of pounds in his stick. I've seen Dino, I'm sure you sent me a picture. Oh, aye. Absolutely, Scotty. As I say, he's still active. Tremendous stuff. I'm, I'm delighted because... One thing I promised the dog, I would never turn him into a fat dog. No, you know, don't turn him into a fat dog. Oh, no, Scotty. No, I... I, I cut him on the treats. He gets his odd treat now and again, but no, no, like, every night just to keep him quiet. You know? I understand what you're talking about. Eh? Absolutely. Now, listen, I'm delighted, David, that John's uh, pledging to... Uh, Towards the phone and on your GoFundMe. Oh, he's a lovely man. I hope he's not gone overboard like you did. Oh, come on, Scotty. If he can afford it, I'm Oh, jeez. Well, it's very, very <laughs> kind of you guys. For all you can, it might be a million pounds. You might want to It'd make me faint. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you, listen. I've taken out shares in your future earnings because they're potentially high. Oh, I oh they'll be high, but I'm just I would just crash out in front of you all. Ah, uh, absolutely. Now, Scotty, uh, I was I was going to ask you a, a question, but I forgot what it was. Ah, oh, don't worry about that. We'll catch up with you again. All right. I'll see you the morn. I'll see you the morn. The morn's next. I'll see you the morn's next. None of this quarter past ten nonsense. No, no, don't you start. You held me up. <laughs> right, there's Nump to Heed. He's gone. To the telephones as quickly as possible, folks. We've got about six minutes left. <clears throat> the USA took down a statue. Never took down statues, Colonial. Is that you in the background? Yes. That's me there in the background. Agree completely. Why is it ready to pander to the left-wing nonsense? Seems like everybody's offended. <clears throat> Well, you'll never get me pandering to any nonsense. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? How are we doing, Scotty McClure? Who have we got? Have we got Pedro? Pedro, how are you? How are you? Are we going to get the squeeze box today? Are you wanting the squeeze box, Pedro? Yes, I know it's getting into your show. I've been phoning for ages. I know we have been. I think we've crashed the lines out tonight. Yeah. Somebody's not doing their job right. Exactly. No, somebody's not looking after McClue properly. Exactly. This is the biggest thing to happen in the internet's history. Uh, yeah, I know. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I, I've been waiting all night for you to play the squeeze boxes. To the end of the show, every night, please, everyone. Are we tuning in the squeeze box for you? Uh, uh, I'm so happy. Uh, that, that numpty heat. Uh, see, is she for real numpty heat? I, I think he's the genuine article. <laughs> I thought I was crazy, but uh, to be bad. I mean, Oh, I think yeah. he beats us all hands down. Uh, he, he's further than Campbell Slang. I can't. He, he, oh, right, there we go. Now, who have we got here? <clears throat> right, technology can be so frustrating. Scotty, it costs 99p to send a sticker. Do you get all of this amount, or does YouTube take commission? Uh, Jim has said you should take 30% or something like that. If you pay via PayPal, you'll get it all. There's a PayPal there. Okay, it's better. Yes. Do I search him for PayPal? Not sure how it works. The link is on the YouTube for PayPal. There we are. The link's in his about page on YouTube. 
Excellent. Good, good, everybody. Good night, Scotty. Good night, Susan. Have you been in Big R recently, Scotty? I haven't. Not recently, Andrew, I have to say. Wow, you are making history. We are making history. Within the San Fernando Valley, there's been a mosque erected behind a wall adorned with trees in front, so it can't be accessed by graffiti lovers. Oh, my goodness me. There we are. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scott. You okay? Oh, David, dinky do. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, so tonight went really strange because it tickles us again. So the phone and went haywire, Scotty. Oh, it went bananas. I think maybe we'd probably bummed out the calls. Yes, yeah, so there's only one thing to do stay on a bit longer because it went really. That's up, you know. It went very quick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my, I love not to hate his eyes. See him. He's some he man. Me, he, he's right in the head. He's, he's amazing. I love that man. He's okay. a character and a half. <laughs> and he was very, very good to me. But don't tell him I told you. I won't be me talk all the time. He's ah, of mine now. <laughs> excellent stuff. We're talking about animals. I've got a wee cat. Yes, a wee cat. You've got a wee pussy cat. Oh, she's lovely. My wee lovely pie. My wee lovely pie. She's gorgeous. I mean, you know, you know. And uh, David, uh, have you got a dog as well? No, but I want a dog. But see, Lily's very jealous. Oh, yes. Yes, you don't want that. Yeah, she, she's actually... Lily's like four, four years old now, but end of the day, I didn't pop in last week, or she's finding puppies, but again, she's thinking, this is my territory. Oh, yes, they're very territorial. They love their people. Oh, they do, Scotty. <laughs> and I'm really worried about you. I know you mean dog passed away, Scotty. It did, right? yes, yes. And uh, and I, I miss him. I still come into the house and think, where is he? And then I think, oh, no, he's oh, gone. It's, it's, so, it's so sad. You know? So well, I maybe I'll maybe leave it for a wee bit because I've had dogs now for about thirty years, and and well, I've had them all my life actually, but I've been wholly and totally responsible for the last thirty years. And you can see, you'll see Lord Reith. Do you see Lord Reith behind me there? He's he's sitting. Yeah, that's him. That's him. And then this was Lord Clyde. Oh no, my dear, dear boy! Don't you worry about that. But um, it's so kind of you, and thank you. Did you manage to find? No, no, my dear. Did you find the link? No, I didn't find it. Me and John are confused again about the link. No. Right. Have you managed to get the Scotty McClue YouTube channel? Right, John. Right, I'm going to pass it, John. Hold on. Right. Yes, John. Scotty. John, how are you, my boy? How are you doing, La? John, I'm fine, La. Have you got two devices, one that you're watching the restream? Uh-huh. And then I'm another the one, stream. if you put in Scotty McClue YouTube channel. I'm going to YouTube. I've subscribed to it, but I can't see any link. Now, if you, if you look up, see the picture of me with the headphones on at the top? Now, just to the right of that, at the bottom of that picture, you'll see some wee right. symbols. Right. And there's wee there's wee symbols there. Right. And one of them go, one of them says, "Buy me a pie." I'm subscribed. You've subscribed. Um, Wonderful. Then, I, yeah, I, and one of them says, buy me a pie. One that says, buy me a pie. Um, when was I loaded, Scotty? Right, hold on. Let me cut you off and then I'll go live again, okay? Okay, so Scotty. Just stay there and we'll do yeah. that. Yeah, we'll cut you off. Okay, that's that. <laughs> 